Thank you for calling Amazon. This call could be recorded for quality assurance. Tell me briefly why you're calling. You can say things like, I don't have my package, my Kindle book purchase, or my Amazon video. My... Thank you for holding. We'll be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Note that answers to common questions may be found on the help pages of our retail website. And you may always email us by following the contact us link. Hello, thanks for calling Amazon. My name is Anne. May I have an order number, please? Hi, what did you say your name was? Uh, my name is Anne. My name is John, and I'm calling from the, I live in the Sweet Living Retirement Home out here, and sometimes my wife Ethel will get on the internet on her phone and order things there at the Amazon. Are you are you are you located on or around the Amazon? Um, is it about your um, Amazon concern, your Amazon account? No, I'm calling about a product, but I that we ordered from there. But I also have a question: Are you located on or around the Amazon? I am the Amazon customer service. I'm one of the representatives here. I mean, is the building located anywhere near? Mm -hmm. Why is it called Amazon? So you receive a media about your product. What do you want? Did you purchase that in Amazon.com website? I guess. I guess we got to get to it, I guess. Listen, you've got to uh -huh. give me a little bit of patience. I'm 93 sure, years. Sure. I'm 93 uh -huh. years old. I'm a, uh -huh. I'm a veteran, and I need a little bit of patience. We're from you. Oh, not a problem. I have a lot of that. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do with the product that you have? Well, the problem is we have these deer that come into the backyard. We got apple trees back there, uh -huh. and the deer come in from out of the woods. They come up and they chew on them apples, and they're leaving a big old mess back there. So Ethel got on the got on the Amazon there and she ordered up a bucket of that that wolf urine on there to keep the keep the deer out of the backyard. So she went out mm -hmm. there and sprayed the wolf urine she got there on the Amazon and the damn mm -hmm. it scared the deer away. We don't have deer anymore, <laughs> but now we got a bunch wow. of now we got a bunch of wolves out there. And we're surrounded by oh, wolves. wolves. We're surrounded by wolves out here. Whole, whole bunches oh of them. Oh my God! Her, her, what are they? They're herds of wolves. What do they call them? A, mur a murder of wolves. It's a whole murder of wolves out here. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, you guys purchase an item from Amazon that protects your tree so that the deer won't come in and chew them. But then now the wolves come in. Yes. Oh dear, but there's a wolf. There's whole bunches wow. of them. A bunch of wolves came out of the woods out there, and they, they basically That's scary. They basically got us cornered in here. Uh, we can't. I can't. It's hard to get out of the house sometimes. Those things will eat you alive. Yeah. They'll eat you alive. Exactly. I'm 93 oh years God. old. I can't fight. I can't fight off a wolf. In my no, prime. No, you can. My prime, I was fighting off Krauts in World War II. I would stab them with my bare hands. But now I can't, wow. there's no way I can take care of a wolf out here in my yard. That's ridiculous. So my question, yeah. my question is, is there a kind of a, of a urine 
on there on the Amazon where I can get that'll scare the wolves away. Something maybe the pee of something bigger or more scary. A bear maybe or a, maybe a Sasquatch or something. Let me check on our website if we cater such um such product. Just a sec here. Okay. Um, something that scares the wolves. Is that correct? That's right. Some, something that the wolves will be afraid of. I mean, I I don't know. What are wolves afraid of? That's the question. <laughs> Me too. I also don't know. But let me check if the scared of the wolves. Uh... What are you? What are you? You got a book on it? You looking in a book on it? No, I'm looking at in our website, in Amazon.com website, if we have such product that can scare a wolf. You but could, so far, it's showing me an item that's from scared that scared a bird. You can do that. You can, you can just look that look at that up there. Mm, I will check product. That's like some stuff of a. That's Out of true. limits, the twilight zone. I can't believe we're doing no. that now. We've come so far <laughs> in this world. Oh, you know, so the twilight, <laughs> the movie Twilight. <laughs> yeah, with them. Okay, those kind, those kind of wolves. With them gay vampires. <laughs> okay. So, um, no. You know they're all gay. There's all no. them vampires are gay. That's why they sparkle. <laughs> That's why they're sparkling in that movie. They're all fairies, each and every one of them. <laughs> well, I've tried to search for some keyword that I can use here, but so far it only shows me a costume, wolf costume, but there's no product that can scare away the wolf. Well, maybe um, if I maybe if I got one of them wolf costumes, I could put that on. <laughs> And go out. Uh, it's not. I'm not. Uh, this ain't a. F I'm not even making a joke. I'm not I'd. Sure. I'd put it on and go I'm out not there. Not sure if that's gonna work. No. Um. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Um. Let's see. Uh, uh, how have you contacted, by the way, any of your family members, at least to help you chase the wolf, or at least they can call somebody to help you guys? Well, I called. I've. I do, we only had three children, and two of them have already died. There's only one of them left, and uh, that was that's just been this week. But uh, the third one we called, he came up, and uh, now his car's sitting out there too. Uh, none of it, nobody's seen him, so we're assuming the worst. We need to get rid of these wolves. Uh, yeah. How about a uh, police, have you tried to call like a 911? At least they can send somebody out there. Yeah, yeah, we help you guys. Yeah, we, we did that. We called them. They said they would send out animal control. And now his truck, yeah, yeah. Now, now his truck is in the front yard with the front door open. And he never even mm -hmm. made it to the door. <laughs> oh, how? We're learning, we're literally turning into a parking lot out here. I got three of my children's cars in the driveway. Uh, probably a dead forest ranger. I don't know. Some kind of a animal control guy. They're just picking people off like 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 snipers. You know, I faced against yeah. a bunch of snipers in World War II. We crawled on yeah. our bellies from a trench all the way to their barracks, and we took the boards off the back of that goddamn building and we went in there while they were sleeping and I stabbed them with bare hands. I didn't even use a knife. I just used with my bare hands. I was just stabbing crouched oh in their sleep and they deserved yeah. it. They deserved it for what they did to them Jewish people. I see, but that was but that was the, uh, way back when you're still strong that was, and you're I still was, young. I was virile back then. I my loins were on fire. I could lift, Aww. I could lift three women in the air, one on each shoulder and one, <laughs> one of them standing on my head or or around with their legs That's around how my waist. You are. I was strong back then. I, I was a farm boy. 
I had learned everything uh -huh. I learned on the farm. I I, oh, I grew no up. Wonder. I had a seven and a half inch root hanging down, and I was the king of the crop. I was the cock of the walk. Nobody looked at me without saying yes, sir. Back in those days. I see. Oh, so you're a war, World War II veteran. Seemed like my grandfather, but he passed away. I think he was like about 70 or 80, I believe so. He's also one of them. Um, oh, that's you guys um, here. Oh, where, where were you? Uh, yeah. Where are you from? Where would where was he? I'm from the Philippines. Oh, the Philippines! I, I spent yeah. some time. <laughs> I spent some time down around the Philippines while I was in the service. Oh, really? For how long have you been here, then? I I've been in the United States my entire life, but I was down that way when I was in the service back in. The, how old are you? Oh. How how can I? Me? Right now, I'm only 31. Oh, 31. That and would... I was... <laughs> yes, I wasn't even born those days, like World War II. Nah. But my dad used to tell stories about my grandfather when he was in service and stuff like that. But he's a very tough guy, so nah, we don't really talk to my grandfather a lot because we're too scared of him. Oh, I... I don't blame you. Grandfathers can be scary. Hey, hello. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We were having a full on <coughs> we were having a full on conversation and the call's gone. I don't know if she hung up or if the call was disconnected. She might call back. It's happened before in the past. She was good. She was good. Drea died, guys. Welcome back, Victoria. I'm glad you're here. Ah, Victoria, it's okay. It wasn't that eventful. <laughs> Her supervisor was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> she was good. That was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, Drea, I'm glad. Do I get to be red now? I have X-Force in my name. You have X-Force in your name? Like right now you do? Ooh, that's a f wacky, wavy, inflatable, flailing arm tube man. Thank you, Mud, for the wacky, wavy, inflatable, flailing arm tube man. Uh, They were all laughing in the background. Were they? I was crying. That made my day. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm trying to catch up. I'm reading all of your comments. I just, I can't, I can't respond to all of them. I'm glad that you guys liked it. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to put the prank, I'm definitely not going to prank 911. Uh, Mud, I used to do that. When I first started doing this, I was prank calling everywhere. Uh, it's hard being so popular. <laughs> I, I used to prank call Walmart and Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, all those places. The problem is they don't get paid enough to deal with that bullshit. You can't string them along like you can Amazon. With Amazon, I can get something going with them, and I can stretch that shit out. I can, I, sometimes I like to see how long can I keep them on the phone. Will they just stay on the phone fucking talking to me? Do you want someone's number? He's crazy. No, I don't do those anymore either. People have like, oh God, there's a peacock. Jaylee bug. Thank you for the peacock. You go in my pickle. You're going to, you're going to go in my pickle. I don't think dish can hang up on you. Now that would be a pretty cool call. I might start doing that. Listen, if you guys got good numbers that are customer service numbers, that's what I need. If you guys can find me some funny, or I don't know, just any kind of customer service number that you think I should prank call. Go ahead and send me the URL on Facebook or Instagram. My URLs are in my fucking thing up here. Send me that shit, okay? And maybe I'll, I'll look over them. I'll look over them. We, we might pick a different one. Kelly Caution, thank you for the roses. 
Ooh, leather face. Ooh. Straight Talk Wireless. Comcast. Call Facebook. Direct TV. Call for new rough service. Tinder customer. Ooh, a sports car. Thank you, Babs. I got to get Jaylee Bug on the pickle here. Let me get Jaylee B on the pickle. Foreign hotline. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Jaylee Bug. There's some good space right over here. That's a really good space. Boom. Don't forget Carlos. Oh, Carlos. Shit, Carlos. I hope he's still here. I'm sorry, Carlos. Okay, when, when, when I'm – okay, listen. Some of you may be thinking that a lot of my Deadpool personality is an act. It's not. I really do forget a lot of shit, and I really do get sidetracked. And I really do. A lot of this shit is real. So you got to help me out sometimes. Okay. Uh, does anybody have the pickles taint? I'll check in just a second. I got to, I got to put, I got to put Carlos on here or else I'm going to forget. Okay, hold on. I gotta wrestle my pickle. Allow me to wrestle. Yeah, he's under you, Victoria. He's right under you. You're on top of him. You're on top of Carlos. I had to wrestle my pickle, King of Halloween. But this is what's important. And don't ever fucking forget that. Wacky, wavy, inflatable, flailing arm tube man. Thank you. Right in the forehead. 